Hello, Abraham. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay, this is my first time in, with you in person. And um, in Esther's person. <clears throat> excuse me. And, and, a, and a function. I've listened to you zillions of times on YouTube yes. and read your work. So um, I had these questions about, in a, in a way, what he mentioned about like other dimensions, because I've been doing healing work for a long time, what we call like transmedium psychic surgery. And, and when I'm doing that, I sometimes go into like a trance state where I don't remember, but sometimes I could, uh, I can relay what impressions I have. But of recent, I've been working with uh, channeling like directly, you know, like letting them speak through me. And I have to say that out of all the work I've done in my own process of healing, it is the most fulfilling, delightful like feeling of, of expansion because it's before I was always, excuse me, focusing on my like, beliefs and self-image and like detailed things, which I feel have brought me to this point. And so on this trip, I just, I mean, I just got on this trip a couple weeks ago. You know, it was booked and Last April, I was doing a journal of like my favorite uh, vacation, and I saw the website, but it was full, so I didn't even think about it, it was full. And then a, a friend of a friend said, oh no, there's cancellations all the time, and like in a couple of weeks, I'm on here. So, um, and, I, and I'm watching myself listening to everybody, and they're all like a slice of myself, and then I saw myself like when things didn't work out perfectly about something, it was just a preference, it wasn't like a big deal. I saw myself like go into, well, I didn't know that because it's my first time on this trip and I don't know that. And then I go, wait a minute, you know, like what you were saying t today or what you say all the time about... I know as much as I'm allowing myself to know in any moment in time. Yeah. Yes. And to let myself um, relax into it. Yeah. That's always when you allow the answers or the impulses that are most helpful to happen. Never happens under tension or stress or self intimidation. Right. So I guess from your perspective, um, I really like it's my joy to, I would say, surrender to this, to this aspect of my source self that actually is, starts talking through me. That really is what the step three is that we've been talking about already here today, is surrendering to the vortex that is already accomplished really is letting go and what you're saying to us and we want to reflect it back in really clear terms is step one and step three are not the same step if you could say about most everything I've done all the step one in that I need to do about most things and now as I put my emphasis on listening rather than on talking upon receiving rather than upon proclaiming what I still need to receive, then you complete those cycles in the way that you've intended. Thank you. Makes sense? Yeah. And I think even more than, I mean, not more or less or linear, but in making sense is just your presence, how it touches me when you're saying that. Okay. Incredible. Any time that you are focused on energy of your source. You have that feeling of resonance and you get that feeling of resonance when you're around someone else who's tuned in, tapped in, turned on, or you get it when someone presents an idea that your inner being knows to be, or you get that feeling of resonance when you sitting by yourself 
find vibrational alignment with who you really are. This is awareness of guidance. Really good. Something more? Yeah. So I've been putting out rockets towards a new reality in Europe. And I went a certain pathway about getting a, a, a passport through my ancestry, which didn't work out. And then I, when that didn't work out, there was so much focus on that, you know, like finding out. What you're describing here is the exact opposite of what you just proclaimed to us and we confirmed back to you. Yes. And that's where there's this disconnect with like letting it, al allowing it in my personal reality. So do you think that you've done the asking? Yeah. And so now what? Relax into it. Yeah. Because every moment of struggle or efforting is counterproductive. It just continues to introduce resistant energy into the process. So you either believe step three or you don't. And most people must not because they keep trying to make step one do it. <laughs> yes. But if you accept that there is a vortex, do you? That there is a vibrational reality and that you've done very well with it and that your inner being is tending to it, then isn't it time to just shift your habits more to listening and watching and expecting and anticipating and being in the awareness of an impulse that leads? You're all about that. You get that. Thank you. Yeah. Further back. 